All right, guys, how you doing? So, welcome back to part eight of the Rat Rod Racing Lawn Mower. So, in this video, we're going to be hooking up the drivetrain with the jack shaft and hopefully getting a running lawn mower. So this here is the jack shaft that actually came out of the four wheeler when I put the torque converter in. So we're gonna pull it out of retirement and somehow shoehorn it and put it in the lawnmower. All right, I'm hoping this is the one and forever all fix to this dumb steering. So last video, I installed a hose clamp right here to keep this crap from wobbling up and down. And yes, uh, it does fix it. But with it turn it, that little thing right here moves ever so slightly. And I was just going to get the welder in there and just weld all this bull crap up, but this is plastic. So instead of welding it, I JB welded it. So roughly from that mark to another mark I made right here is about 12 inches. So that's where I'm probably going to cut. I don't know what's going on, but this dumb thing, like, look. Look at that. So I got it all cut out and trimmed so it will not cut you. So it looks like I need to cut my angle right about here. Just like that. So I'm gonna have to cut here and cut here and a little bit more out here so I can weasel this in here. Now the pillow block is finally bolted in and that's not gonna go anywhere. So next thing is to weld this angle iron in. So I just got the angle iron welded in there. I welded it there, all kind of along here, and welded another one over there. So these two main welds are the only things actually holding it in. I'm not gonna weld underneath it because that's gonna be a pain in the butt to do that. And I think it's perfectly fine. And yeah, I got the pillow block on there. Uh, it needs grease in the bearing, but that's gonna work good. So I just cut out a little bit more of the angle iron and put it in there with a very structurally mounted uh, thing. And I got my thumb right here with the angle grinder. Uh, friendly reminder, wear gloves and wear safety glasses because you don't want bull crap like this happening to you. But yeah, I got that in there and it's ready to tack weld. And just like that, we are welded on. I did a full weld at the bottom, which I probably shouldn't have and I kind of tack weld the sides up here. And that looks good. I didn't really have time to film it because I have to be somewhere in a little bit. So I'll catch y'all later. All right, so I just got back from snow skiing. That was definitely fun. Now let's get back to work on this lawnmower. So we're gonna stick our shaft in now. I'm gonna do a little bit of work on that because that's a little lip. 
We're gonna stick our pillow block on here. And yeah, this should look real nice. So I just got out a Norton tool and got some more welding wire, gear puller, which I've been needing one of those, and a few of the bits and bobs. So I'm gonna run over to the tractor supply, which is literally right over there, and get the rest of the parts for the jack shaft. So we are at tractor supply, got my little list here. So let's come over here to the pulley section, which there are tons of things over here, and find the right pulley. So I'm probably gonna get an eight inch pulley, which is in the middle. The top one's a seven inch, but imagine if we put a 12 inch pulley on there. That would be epic. If y'all are doing any kind of a custom project, uh, yeah, this is the kind of stuff you gotta pay. $40 for welding wire. Not really my cup of tea. Also, I'm gonna have to grind a keyway on this shaft right about right here so I can put this collar on. All right, so got it cut. Uh, it's not perfect, but it'll do. And this is the most trickiest thing that I've ever done. So I got the pulley on the little uh, chuck thing and I'm gonna weld it together. So, after a long while of fiddling around, the jack shaft is finally in there. And it looks really good. And I got everything from Tractor Supply besides the belts because I have no idea what size the belts are. So a little bit of a size comparison. This is the old, crappy, rusted up pulley that came off the transaxle. And I measured it, and this is a nine inch pulley. Again, this is an eight inch pulley. So it's basically gonna be the opposite ratio, basically, by taking the huge pulley, putting it on the engine, and that small pulley on the rear end. Man, this rear end is gonna explode. Imagine if we got the 12 inch pulley to put on there. It'd be absolutely ridiculous. So I just got out of school and my brother told one of his friends to put tires in the back of the truck right there. I had no idea that was happening. That's the tires for his car. But I'm running to Lowe's uh, again to grab some dry shaft collars and some grub screws for the jack shaft. We are here at Lowe's. So back at Lowe's, got all my bits and bobs here. I also got some rope, the cheapest rope I could possibly find at Lowe's. A uh, belt that was supposed to go on from the engine to the jack shaft was a 67 inch half inch. And just like my luck, they didn't have any. So I was just gonna get a 68, but then I looked on a little belt thing and it said a 5 eighths belt at 68 inches was about the same size as a half 67. So that's what I got. And it'll actually probably be better because of the torque converter. It's a little bit thicker belt. So yeah, hopefully it's gonna work. Bada bing, bada boom. So with the 5 8 belt, uh, trying to get it around this part right here, it's kind of tough. I had to loosen it up on this, but it slid in there. I think that's gonna rub a little bit. And yeah, it actually fits on there pretty good. All right, I just did something and it is absolutely insane. So, the belt from the engine, that is one to one. This right here is one to two and a half. The motor turning at 3,600 RPMs, this input uh, pulley right here is turning 9,000 RPMs. So I went to track supply for the third time today to get a shorter belt. Last one was a 37, this one's a 36 and that has a lot more tension on it. So not only do I have this mega massive mess I have to clean up, it's raining. So I got my fuel tank back on there refueling it and I got a very, very monkey rig starting system. But you know, this wire is just this much too short. I'm gonna get a different battery and I'm gonna relocate the battery somewhere else. Maybe put it right there. I don't know because this battery's way too big. So the only thing we're gonna do for right now is just crank the engine up, rev it up in neutral, see if everything clears, works, blah, blah, blah. Also, I redid the throttle to where it has more throttle travel and it has a way better feel to it. Take two, take three. 
probably push this in, probably be easier to spin over. Very, very smooth. I'm back now this is by far the most sketchiest thing I've ever driven like before it's when the virgin one of it when it was still lifted I told my brother to go drive it and he was like that's the most sketchiest thing I've ever driven and I just started dying laughing but yeah this is sketchiness 2.0 right here this part it this is this does all right the shift linkage uh, my hands you know gotten all cut up and crap I'm trying to reach in there because I've been bolting there and, you know, cussing and screaming, trying to, you know, shift the gear. But, yeah, first gear, pretty low, the way I like it. Sixth gear, let's talk about that. I drove it down there. That, that was not opened up. That had way more in it. I didn't have the speed thing going. The belt from the jack shaft to the rear end is fine. The belt going from the jack shaft to the engine, we're going to have to get a slightly longer belt. Also, let me know in the comments, what do you think I should use this for? Now, I don't have any idea when the next video is going to be of this thing. It needs brakes, it needs a shifter, bearings on the front end, and just a couple odds in other things. But I have no idea when that video is going to be. I can't just pull a video out my butt and be like, oh, I have a video of the lawnmower with the jack shaft. Well, let's just post it on YouTube. You know, I can't do that. I can't pull that out of my butt and just chuck it on the internet. I actually have to take time to film it and edit it. Plus, I don't have all day, all night, every tool you can imagine in this garage 
you know, have to spend my, you know, 90% of my day at school and come home. I will not and refuse to rush myself to build this lawnmower. This lawnmower is fun, and if I'm not having fun, I'm not gonna build it. Same way of making videos. Again, I'm not cars and cameras. Uh, I basically got this idea, putting the jack shaft in here from cars and cameras. All right, so hope you liked this video. If you did, you know what to do. I'm not gonna force y'all to do things y'all wanna do, and y'all should see me in the next one.